Hello, I'm Jforce G, and welcome to the fifth and probably not not necessarily final uh, logic node tutorial. Um, I might get back to doing logic node tutorials in the future, um, but my next foray is making tutorials on uh, how logic bricks and nodes can be used together to get optimal performance uh, from the engine. Anyway, uh, this tutorial is on how we can shoot with our player character here, the enemy, and have that enemy get pushed back. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is click on our enemy, which I'm going to rename enemy. I'm going to rename our player, player, okay. Go back to our enemy and make him have a dynamic or you know what we'll go with rigid body okay we're going to give him a collision type we're just gonna collision bounds there and that should be good for now and we're gonna go into our first person view by pressing zero on the numpad now scroll uh, bring this up a bit and dashboard and we're gonna click on our player here Apply to selected. Um, yeah, okay. So we can use a mouse ray, or you could use a ray, simple ray, but I'm using a mouse ray for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm more concerned about teaching you the logic behind getting the enemy to get pushed. I'm gonna choose uh, our camera as the Ray, and we're going to choose enemy as the property. Okay? And we're going to click on our enemy here. And we're going to go to our logic brick view just so you can see what's happening a little better. Add property and enemy. We're not going to give him any values. We're only using this as a way to reference our enemy in our player's logic node uh, tree. Then we are going to shift A and add a uh, uh, mouse, oh sorry, just because input is better, it's easier to find it, mouse and button. Every frame and then we are going to go to physics. Or not physics, sorry. Um, objects, transformations, apply impulse. So now we're going to get a AND node. Stick this boy into that boy. Stick button to here. Spray into here. We are also going to add a on update. our mouse ray. Looking good so far? You're following along? Awesome. So now we're gonna add a uh, get vector access. Axis. I always pronounce that wrong. And we're gonna change this to negative y. And choose our player here. Then we're gonna add a invert node. And we press play and we click on our enemy wherever we are they and shoot and, and, and click, they will go the opposite. It's pretty cool. Um, you even got knocked over there. Yeah. So you could use this for enemies, uh, uh, you know, physics puzzles, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally shot him the wrong direction. If you want to ch change the uh, force of the impulse, or have it, you know, more uh, push, pushy, uh, uh, whatever, you can get a math node here, and we can multiply it 
by two. And let's see what that does. Uh, yeah, look how far he gets pushed. So this is just a simple, um, you know, way we can make our game more um, dynamic. If you're making a first-person shooter or third-person shooter, or maybe like just some physics game, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Another thing that I just I just kind of tested out now because I never experimented it with it is if we plug our picked point into our point here what I believe that means is uh, wherever the mice the <laughs> wherever the mouse ray touches on the geometry of the enemy is where it's gonna get pushed from so let's see if we push his legs here boom if we push him from the front on the top here boom going to test a, a little little something something here I, I got rid of the um, multiplication node there the math node and <laughs> he's doing a little uh, break dancing yeah it's pretty neat uh, just boom where do you think you're going sir oh my god look at him go Uh, there's probably more um, to this, but this is the basics that I know. Jesus. 